Back in the basement again today to talk about these Bells of Steel machined e-coat plates, hopefully somewhat in brief, because to be honest, I've already reviewed these plates. If you remember a couple of months ago, I did a video entitled The Best Budget Machined Plates You Can Get? Question mark? And those were made by Bells of Steel. And to be honest, very good solid plate. I'll link it in a card in the description box below. Good bang for your buck. And my biggest complaint with them, which is a minor complaint, was just the visual look of them was ugly in my opinion. I didn't like the gray, the color that they used. Someone made the joke that it looked like a CAD drawing and they just manufactured it that way and I couldn't agree more. But again, a very minor complaint. However, I was very happy to see them release these E-Coat plates because E-Coat to me can be one of the best finishes out there, although it's very hard to do as evident by the fact that I own a lot of machined E-Coat plates like the Strength Co plates, the Rogue Olympic USA plates, the Rogue Deep Dish plates, all E-Coat, all machined but all having some sort of issue on some of the plates. And I'll talk about that this video, talk about the E-Coat application here, and more of just the price point. So not the plate itself, because I've done that video. Check it out if you haven't already. Now, with this particular plate, let me give you a little bit of context. The original version first came out for $200. It is now increased to $220 per pair of $45 delivered. So Bells of Steel has free shipping always. So that's nice, depending on what you're looking for. Now I mentioned the price has increased on the original plates by $20, which side note, if you're ever trying to buy something and your significant other is giving you a hard time, just tell them, hey, look, honey, these are gonna go up in price and you know me, I'm gonna buy them anyways, might as well just let me buy them now, or just show them my videos of all the stuff that I buy and they'll feel better about your buying habits. But $220 for the original version, which are still available today, the E-Coat version, $240, for a pair of 40s, fives delivered. And I'm gonna stick to 45s in this video because it gets kind of tricky. Some plates have bundles available. So Bells of Steel has bundles of plates for their regular version. However, they do not currently have bundles for the E-Coat version. The Strength Co has bundles available. However, some of them don't include pairs of 35s. Rogue has some bundles available, but it, they don't offer all change plates. So it's like, 645s and 225s is one of their bundles. So it can get kind of tricky, play around with pricing. So I'm gonna just keep it to pairs of 45s delivered just to keep it easy for everybody. So $240 for these, which based off of what I've seen is still the most budget friendly machined e-coat plate you can buy. For reference, the strength coat plates, list price is like 195 per pair but shipping and tax are included after the fact. So to get those to my door here in Rhode Island, it ends up being $246. So the Bells of Steel wins out by $6 over the Strength Co. When it comes to the Rogue Deep Dish, which are usually very price friendly, they're listed at $180 per pair. After shipping and tax, it is $256. So $16 more per pair for the Rogue. Or if you wanna take a look at the Rogue Olympic USA, which are basically a calibrated type plate in terms of look and feel and function, really nice. They retail for about $320 delivered. So that is almost $80 more than these particular plates. So these ones are still the cheapest. However, that's kind of where some of the comparisons end. As I mentioned, all E-Coat plates tend to have some issues, at least from my experience and all the plates that I've owned, but the Bells of Steel ones tend to have more than the other ones that I'm familiar with. And that's saying a lot because I only have a pair of 45s, a pair of 35s, a pair of 25s, and a pair of 10s, whereas I have like a thousand pounds worth of the Strength Co plates, a thousand pounds worth of the Rogue USA Olympic plates, 70 pounds worth of the Rogue Deep Dish because I only have a pair of 35s. But across the board, these plates I have from Bells of Steel have the most cosmetic issues, comparatively speaking. Now, what do I mean by cosmetic issues? Well, first of all, both pairs of 45s look like they had some number on the back scratched in. It looks like someone then tried to patch it and then do the finish over it. However, it shows through, so it looks kind of bad in my opinion. Also, what you'll notice is there's like a rougher finish on the interior, which is good. The Strength Co have like a rougher finish as well on the interior, but there's places where that is oversprayed. So you have some smooth parts on a lip and then rough parts. Same thing with on the back of the plate, just really inconsistent in terms of that. And then also the E-Coat application itself in some areas, depending on the lighting, which might be hard to see on this video, is some patches tend to be more shiny or darker than others. So it almost looks like a grease stain in some instances. So across the board, 
almost every single plate I have from the Bells of Steel line has some sort of issue, which again, for a lot of people, probably isn't a big deal, right? These plates are gonna be in a barbell, clanging and banging, you're gonna chip them up, they're gonna wear over time, a weight is a weight, right? And we're just worried that, are they accurate? Yes. Are they affordable? Yes. Do they look the best? In some cases, maybe no. And I agree with that sentiment. I understand it completely. However, typically when we're talking about an import brand, which Bells of Steel is, these plates are made in Vietnam, compared to something that's made in USA, tends to be a lot more expensive. As I mentioned already, this pair is only $6 less expensive than a pair of Strength Co. 45s or $16 less than a pair of Rogue Deep Dish 45s. So the price difference isn't great enough where you typically see between import versus made in USA where you say, hey, I'm saving so much money, I'm okay with those blemishes, I'll go ahead and get the cheaper version. In this case, the price difference isn't great enough, in my opinion, that it makes sense for a lot of people to go this route. Now again, that's not to say that this isn't a good plate. In terms of the review itself, it's tolerant in terms of how it fits on the bar, in terms of what it weighs on the scale. I actually really like this design of the face of all the plates from top to bottom. So from the 45s to 35s to 25s to 10s, they all look really good. But again, the finishing touches on the finish is just something that detracts for me. And in this case, when we're specifically talking about the E-Coat, I would really like to see them clean this up considering that the price difference isn't that much compared to what else is out there. Now again, this is only in my experience and to be honest, it could be that I was just an early adopter which has come back to bite me before. I believe these were the first ones delivered to anyone in the United States. I had seen them previously on Bryce Crouchex from Calgary Barbell. He has like a full decked out Bells of Steel set up in their new gym. He might not have seen these issues necessarily but I'm just saying from the set that I have, the visual issues are definitely there. And to me, I would probably wanna spend just a little bit more money and get something a little bit more consistent. But if Bells of Steel can dial this in and get this finished down, which they've been known to do, they improve upon a lot of their stuff. I know their owner, Kayvon, is very passionate about what he does and offering something that's very price affordable. They have a lot of new stuff coming out. I wouldn't put it past them, but at this point, it's just a hard conversation to have and recommend these over something in a similar vein. Now, speaking of all the other E-Coat plates I have, if you're really interested in seeing me do a comparison across all these brands, tell you what I like, what I don't like about all of them, because there are things, even with those other plates, that I think are detractors or could be improved, let me know by liking this video or telling me in the comment section below. Hopefully this video helps. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.